so I, I was aware of Christianity. My dad used to sing in a mosque. I was aware of Islam. Your dad saying where? Assalamu alaikum. What's going on, everybody? Something interesting just happened. And no, it's not my poor choice of shirt color as I camouflage with my background. Something even more interesting happened, whereby Oprah Winfrey, you remember Oprah? Right? After her interview with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, she invited the Bollywood star, and I think she's also a star in Hollywood too, Priyanka Chopra, who is also married to Nick Jonas. She and Oprah were talking about her life, and they are talking about her book. Reading your book, it made me uh, reflect on my own trips to India. You know, one of the things that was so powerful is, is the spirit spiritual energy there. This is again something my dad used to tell me. It was like basically religion is all, you know, a, a way to get to a supreme power and every religion has a different face to the same direction where we're going. In the preview to the interview, she was talking about spirituality and talking about respect for all religions and how she believes that all religions eventually lead to the same God and all the teachings that her late father bestowed upon her growing up. It all seemed nice and passionate and heading in the right direction. Until she said this. So I, I was aware of Christianity. My dad used to sing in a mosque. I was aware of Islam. To sing in a mosque, to sing in a mosque. To sing in a mosque. Your dad sang in a mosque? What did he sing? Was he singing? <laughs> or was he saying? <laughs> Did he sing songs or did he do the adhan, the call to prayer? Also, which mosque did he sing in? Yo, I have so many questions. Understandably, a lot of people were confused by this. She could have just said, I had Muslim neighbors, or I had Muslim friends, or I knew Muslims in school, and that's how I was introduced to Islam. But her dad singing in a mosque. Yeah, that, uh... That raised some eyebrows. By the way, it is also possible that she may have been confused. She may have been a slip of the tongue, and what she meant to say was he sang in a church, not in a mosque. But then she also mentioned Islam right after she mentioned mosque and him singing in it, so that's also a little bit confusing. Either way, I don't know. But overall, the message that she was attempting to convey, it was a good message. And I know, I know, Oprah was in this interview talking about how India is this hub of spirituality and how there's so much spiritual energy there, and in many ways, it is. India has a long history of that. But honestly, I also don't expect Oprah and Priyanka to talk about the current political environment in India. I don't expect them to talk about the extremist BJP government and the repression of Muslims in India, or even how Hindus who support Muslims or Hindus who are against this oppression are also targeted by extremist BJP supporters. We know where the Muslim population is large, there's always trouble because the Islamic ideology says so. I mean, there's 200 million Muslims living in India. That's the yeah, second no largest Muslim them. population in the world. Uh, and you're saying that wherever Muslims live, that's If problem? Muslims become more than 30%, that country is in danger. That sounds like hatred. That sounds no. like <laughs> language of hatred. It's towards. easy to say hatred. I'm being kind to them by not letting them come to India. All people are not equal. Muslims do not deserve equal rights to uh, apply for citizenship. There's no such thing as equal rights. They're not in an equal category. I mean, it would have been nice if they knew that and covered it in the interview, but they didn't. So, that's why I did it. I did it for them, so they don't have to. Anyways, I just thought this was an interesting video. And if anyone knows which mosque her father sang in, please let me know, because I'd love to have a conclusion to this cliffhanger of a story. With that being said, please respect each other, respect each other's religions, and even when we disagree, let's debate our views respectfully. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like and share this video. Support me by subscribing to my channel. And until next time, I'm That Muslim Guy. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be with you.